Hi tonight, welcome back to another, another, another episode of Sakura Succubus 4. Man, it's been such a long time since I played this. If you guys can tell, I haven't played this since, I'd say since, I'd say since 2022, so it's been two years now? <sighs> Jesus. I pray. That's all I can say, I pray. <laughs> but anyways, let's get right into it. Phew. That leaf. I was starting to get sweaty thinking about her punishments. <laughs> She's not a woman to be trifled with, you think? It's okay. <sighs> I forgot about this. Two years later, that shit's still adorable. What the fuck? That? Cosmo gives Hazel a thing, a thumbs up, Jesus Christ. So distracted right now. Marina bullies AU because she deserves it, but she's. N but you've not done anything bad for a long time, and you never called Marina old. That is true. Ah, yes. That is Marina's pet peeve. She's quite sensitive about that. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Fumi. I mean, granted, Marina is pretty reasonable about it, but eh, I don't know about that. But sometimes when a U goes too far, that's when things get a little out of hand. I noticed that, but I don't really get it. Uh, I mean, I think it's probably because that, like, I think the same thing kind of goes with you for an instance. She doesn't really bring it up, but she does kind of put Marina down to a sense, so I can't really see how that could have actually ended well in that situation. Of course, the difference between you and AU is that AU can be a little out of hand. You is just really, really a ruler, so she has no really, like, boundaries. She'll be respectful, but she knows that Marina knows her place, and she wouldn't call her old, but she definitely won't go too far. So, she knows that. Why does she get so upset about her age? I mean, hmm, I think I already answered that, but... I guess no one's listening, eh? Oh, Cosmos. Sweet, innocent Cosmos. I know you mean well, but you've got to use some common sense. Most women are touchy about their age, specifically when they're getting into their 30s. But why? AU says lots of nasty things, but they aren't true. Marina is older than us, but she still looks pretty. She's got nothing to be embarrassed about. Maybe not, but we all have our hangouts. Marina. She's more delicate than she makes out. No, Marina, don't do that. Not there if you touch me like that. Uh. <sighs> I'm sorry. I couldn't read the rest of it because I realized she, she was about to be in despair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. For a delicate woman, Marina can be awfully ruthless, you think? You fucking think? <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit. You can definitely tell who's the motherly one here. Mother of God! She definitely takes in that motherly role. Brings a whole definition to the milf gauge. I'ma shut my mouth. Anyway! Maybe she can hide insecurities behind her dominant personality. In that sense, she might not be so dissimilar from AU. Is that why they always butt heads? Excuse me, Hiroki, but while I'm pondering this, Afumi addresses me. She's wearing. Why would you bring this up right now? As she promised last night. <laughs> oh, wait. Did I press. Auto by X. I didn't. Okay, thank God. Um, it's simple design, pure white, but I think it suits you for me well. Particularly when set against her dark hair. Oh, wait. What? 
Okay, she forgot <laughs> lenses. Though she had a pair of sunglasses ba balanced atop of her forehead. Maybe she opt for contexts? They're harder to lose than glasses. Would you mind applying my sunscreen to me? My skin is very fair and it burns easily. It is a hot day and I fear I will turn pink without any assistance. It would jeopardize the many jobs I have lined up if my skin is starting to fall. Oh. <sighs> She's got a point. She's got a point. Sure, I'll help you with your sunscreen. It's not a problem. Are you certain? Sure, it's fine. Helping a Fumi my take my mind off of AU and Marine. Uh, and whatever it is they're doing thank you most kindly you are a wonderful man Haruki. um then I shall leave myself in your capable hands following she is adorable Need a minute. Girl, you are not helping with that. <laughs> Fuck sake. Ah. Okay. Just to let people know, an editor might do this. I'm putting up a meter. It's going to show how red I get. If it shows where I am currently, I wouldn't be surprised. God damn. Fumi ties her long tresses up into a ponytail and then lies herself down upon a towel. Also, that looks great, actually, because I'm kind of surprised. It actually matches the ocean. <laughs> I see a theme she was trying to put in, so that's good. Her curved back and rear are angled towards me, and it's with a quiddish smile that she glances at me over her shoulder. Would you care to begin, dear? The sunscreen is over there. She, she inclines her head at the bottom. To the, oh, she, she, <laughs> she inclines her head at a small bottle resting at her bag. I kneel by Hafumi's side and then take the bottle in hand. I squirt some sunscreen in my palm and then reach Hafumi's bared back with sticky fingers. Can I start? Please do. I'm clear. In anticipation. <laughs> Calm, calm. I press my fingers to the small of Fumi's back, tracing the curve of her spine. Ah, yes, that feels good. Fumi's eyes. Your, hand is, your hands are very gentle, Haruki, but there's a firmness to them, too. I'm so manly. I'm positive. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hope not. That doesn't fit, sound very healthy. You are by far the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met. Sweet Jesus. I continue to work on sunscreen. Uh, if we fair skin, I slip her up, massage her shoulders, her back, and the top of her thighs. The Fumi sighs, both at my ministration and, I presume, the coolness of the sunscreen as it soaks into her skin. If it weren't so accustomed to touching a Fumi, I'd probably get flustered by this. I fucking hate you so much! And I, I'm surprised that you're not... Not, motherfucker, Jesus Christ! Her swimsuit clad body is incredibly enti enticing as if the little moans that spills from her lips she doesn't often play sexy roles she often typecasts as a sweet innocent maiden but i think fumi <laughs> would make a great femme fatale right that should be about it 
I draw away from Mufumi once I worked on the last of the sunscreen onto her back. You can do it from the front, can you? I can, though I would prefer if you take care of that too. I will never tire of your careness, my dear husband. Ugh. I'm trying to calm down at the moment. This is not working. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, dearie, 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 you for me. You are a talker. Oh, God. Still, the Fumi smiles and cups her cheeks with one hand. I will not do, I will not be due to become ideal, and you appear to have quite cue forming for your expert services. Perhaps you ought to tend to them first. Stay. Bless it, get jealous. Huh? What do you mean? Wait a minute, what? I wasn't even paying attention. Wait, did she just say that they're jealous over there? What do you mean? Oh, come the fuck on, you two! Give me a break here! I glanced behind me and saw him comfort with Cosmos and Hazel. Cosmos takes my right hand while Hazel takes the left. Oh, for fuck's sake, you two! It ain't fair if you're only pampering the Fumi. We're partners too, and we want to be spoiled. Yes, Hazel, I know, sweetie. God damn, can you wait? I demand equal right. Oh, what the fuck? I know you weren't using that shit. Mm -hmm. Don't play games, woman. Don't play games. We are unionizing. What get? What you give to the Fumi, you must give to us. Oh, come on. Don't make that face, please. Why do I have to deal with this? I want you to play. <laughs> you two cannot be fucking serious. I am literally here right now. Hell, oh, damn it! And I swear to God, if Marina comes back here and she wants that too, I would like that too. But come the fuck on! It's like, god damn, you guys. Jesus. And my. My, my, you are so popular, Hiroki. Part of me is jealous, but I am happy for you, too. That for me? That for me? <laughs> I'm trying over here. After hate, we'll just try to pull... What? I'm glad my future husband is a respected man. <laughs> Shut up. It looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Keeping every member of my harem happy, but I don't mind it. Me neither, really, but I just didn't need her, need Hifumi or Cosmos to get jealous. Like, you two need to calm down, please. Please. I'm glad, in fact, for the intention. So am I, really. Really. <laughs> but anyway, who'd be upset about the ensnaring the attention of so many beautiful women? All right, I'll apply sunscreen, too. I'll do Hazel first, since she the first to broach the topic. You will wait your turn, okay, Cosmos. Okay, I'll wait patiently. I trust you. I know you'll go back on your word. Trust me, I wouldn't even if I tried. And What do I deserve to have my eyes be seen to a goddess like her I do not know I I do not know I do not know ah this is the life a use punishment meted out Marina now reconciles upon a deck chair beneath the shade of a parasol her long white churches drape over the back of the chair in her black swimsuit Snuggly hugs her curves. Her face is in is case cast in shadow, but I can see a content cat-like smile playing about her mouth. In one hand, she's holding a cocktail glass filled to the brim with some alcoholic beverage. For another, it's a reddish yellowish color with a slice of orange skewed on the side of the glass in a. Parasol 
intruding brother. When Marina shifts, adjust her hair, the ice cubes in her drink cling against the side of the glass. She seems quite this significant. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it seems like quite this si sophisticated. Oh, Jesus Christ. It seems like quite the sophisticated cocktail, but the bright color gives me a girlish look. Did Hafumi made that for you? Yes, indeed. I mentioned I was thirsty and she passed in to mix the drinks for me. It's a vodka high... Oh, Jesus Christ. With orange and cranberry juice. It's nothing too fancy, but it tastes divine. Alright. The citrus orange juice and the tart cranberry juice paired off so well. And the vodka gives it a, such a kick. The ice is particularly refreshing, too. I could drink these all day. <laughs> I can tell. But don't drink them too much, sweetie. Takes a sip of her content. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Marina takes a sip of her cocktail and then smiles. Delicious! You sure look like you're enjoying yourself. Yes, indeed. This is such a nice change from sitting in my office, pouring all my mouth and answering endless mess emails. It's nice to simply relax every once in a while. Of course, I can never turn down a cocktail. If I mean, would make a wonderful bartender. I did not know she was very gifted at mixing drinks. I thought, if I remember correctly, when we was at the Roykin, didn't she just mention the fact that she did? A little bit of bartending? Am I wrong? I might be wrong on that one. I'm not entirely sure. Now I'm curious. I kind of want to try one of her cocktails, too. But maybe I'll save it for later. Are you worried about your stamina? A little. I don't know if I want to get smashed anymore. Well, you're not wrong. My poor dear boy. Marina Tithers. It must be hard to have the constitution of a human. We suck you by have high... Well, we suck you by have higher alcohol tolerance in general, and we can drink far more. It makes me very glad my mother bequeathed upon me this superior body. <laughs> of course you say something like that. Which, you're not wrong. You says I'm getting old, but she knows nothing. I look not a day over 25. That girl has some nerve. I think you look great too, Marina, especially in that swimsuit. Yeah, nothing to worry about on that score. Thank you, dear boy. I'm fully aware of this fact, of course, but I do like being reassured. It can be trying <sighs> enduring the company of Succubi, who are much more younger than myself, particularly that noxious AU. She does love to boast. I cannot help but get angry at her, though I know she lashes out only because of her own insecurities. Perhaps I should not have been too hard on her, but I fear it is the only way she will learn. Unfortunately, I think that I incline to agree with you at that point. But after last time and after what she told me, um, I'm not going to hold you. She is she kind of deserves what she's getting at this point because she keeps going like we've had this talk before like she's gonna have to keep going at this point she's probably asking for it she says some pretty rude stuff back there i'm so glad you agree my dear boy marina takes another sip of her drink she looks like she's having plenty of fun where she is but i decided to position a question of her or at least to her regardless you want to come swimming with me later? The sea is very smooth and clear, and I think it'd be nice to take a dip. I appreciate the offer, but I'd rather not. My swimsuit is expensive, and it's probably not made for swimming in salty waters. I would not want to go. Want the gold detail going on and going to tarnish. If Marina's swimsuit is anything but a tight red dress she wore to back her charity event, it must have cost a fortune. I don't want to think about how many zeros it must have been on the end of that price tag 
It's enough to make my head spin. Her swimsuit doesn't seem all that practical, and you can't swim in it. But what do I know? It's been to se I've been to seven. Uh, <gasps> excuse me. <sighs> Sorry. I've been to several fashion shows, but only in the capacity of a photographer. My knowledge in regards to the industry is a resounding zero. I guess Marina must have picked her swimsuit out based solely upon its appearance, as opposed to its functionality. Not that it was a poor choice. It really does suit her. I think swimming is some more suited to a children. More to children. It's not elegant. So I fear to thrash one arm and leg are about like a drowning man. Cosmos might enjoy it by you or a you, and I'm certain Hazel would, but the thought does not appeal to me. I can hardly drink while soon. That's a good point. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Have fun, Marina. I will, dear boy, and I wish you the same. You should probably entertain those naughty little sisters of mine. At least they can they get up to mischief. I would rather I feel rather too comfortable to discipline a you now. You got it. If she misbehaves, I'll give her what's what. Thank you, I knew you could, I could rely on you. Marina blows me a kiss as I depart. Her pink lips gloss with lipstick. She sure looks like she's having a good time, but what about me? What should I do? Good question. I ponder my options for a few moments when Hey, Haruki. Ayu settles up with me, her voice unusually muddled, soft and girlish. I wonder if her personality shifts can be attributed to the punishment Marina rain downs upon her. She isn't acting like her usual brace of self. I was wondering, um... Ayu toys with one of the orange twin tails. Could I ask you a question? You already have. Yes, I know, but, um... May I make a further inquiry? Um, what's with all these inquiry businesses? She sounds way too formal and engaged tone starting to freak me out. What's up? You didn't do anything wrong, did you? Wrong? Let's herself betray some of her formal intensity. Why do you think I did something wrong? I don't know. There's something off by the way you're talking myself. You haven't killed a man, have you? As if I would. Girl, don't you make that face. Because you're fucking adorable. <laughs> A woman, then. Sometimes I want to murder his city old pet. Ah, she took a glare at Marina, who, fortunately for her, is too far away to overhear her. Climbing while sipping upon a fruity cocktail. But no, I would never go that far. I'm no killer. I don't actually have the side of blood. I don't actually like the side of blood. Really? I didn't know you'd be so squeamish. I'm not about other bodily fluids, but blood in particular is kind of always trails off she frails. What am I talking about this here anyway? This isn't what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, uh, go ahead then. I wanted to ask you, making rude assumptions, uh, whether you wanted to spend the rest of the day in my wonderful country. I thought it might be nice if you could go for a swim, maybe a stroll? So, it's not like I'm asking because I like you. You're just the best of the bad bunch. I'm not getting along with the others, and I want to stay away as far as Marina as possible, so you'll have to do. I'm bestowing my privileges upon you, so you had best be grateful. Hey, Rocky! Unfortunately for AU, she was unable to anticipate the rest of her order. Cosmos direct dashes towards us, one hand waving. I turn to her, and she throws herself into my arms. Perfect! is so zealous, it almost balls me over. You don't think? I'm not surprised by that. Huggy, huggy! Cosmos clinging onto her bare chest and looks up at me, her amber eyes bright. I want to fix selfies for a bit, but I got a whole bunch now. And, I was get and I'm getting kind of bored. You don't look too busy, so I was wondering, would you mind showing me how to swim? You said you would last night, you promised. Can you give me a shot? I didn't. Oh, anything for you, my little. My little. <laughs> hey, Cosmos! 
AU grabs a hold of Cosmo's shoulder and wrenches her off like some kind of aid. Cat wearing a vulnerable. Don't butt into our private conversation. I was trying to talk to her though. Oh, were you? Oh, sorry. I, I didn't realize. How could you not realize? Are you blind as well? Can you not read the room? You're not in the room right now, silly. You? And anyways, you weren't talking. You were shouting. And I hope you weren't threatening my boyfriend. I, I wasn't threatening him. I didn't mean to. I only told him as I have been good to him. Not the bit. Okay, you. You just made it worse on yourself. I hope you know that. You made it worse for yourself. Ill. <laughs> this is bad. I have nothing against feet, but sand is a different matter. It's coarse and rough and irritating. It gets everywhere. Who wants to slip a mouthful of bubble dry sand? It hardly matters what Hiroki wants to do it or not. If he truly respects me, he would do it all the same. Really? I highly doubt that. If you ask me, it sounds like a fetish thing. You... Says it's a fetish thing. Then proceed to wear all the... Cosmos is something else. <laughs> Nobody was asking you, now go away. He is mine. But he's my boyfriend. And he said he was going to take care of swim. He said it. Cosmos is right. Hey, you... I'm between the two big ring succubi before AU can yank at Cosmos cat ears. I did say I would help her swim. I'd like to honor my promise. But I asked you if you wanted to spend time with me first. Technically, you didn't. I agree. But Cosmos goes back to last evening. And you didn't sound at all enthused with spending time with me. What was it you said? It hit some the tune of I cleared my throat and did my best <laughs> of AU's show voice. It's not like I'm asking you because I like you. You're just the best of the bad bunch. <laughs> Isn't particularly good. There's no way I can get my voice high, high enough. Short of being kicked somewhat sensitive, but it's insanely recognizable. Cosmos begins to giggle. Hey, you scowls. I, uh, I do not sound like that. Girl, you're blushing. You're fucking lying. You do sound a bit like that, you. <laughs> uh, whatever. Holds her arms and then turn head away, scowling. I'm past caring. You two are stupid to serve each other. Go off into the ocean and the pair of you and get stuck. I won't show any sympathy. And I'm not upset about being turned or anything. <laughs> and with an explosive harumph. <laughs> um, which reminds me of a racehorse that AU stalks off, her hands clenched at her side. I watch it. She departs, arms folded back, and look at Cosmos. She's definitely upset. Totally. I kind of feel bad for her. It'll be fine. I don't want to hang out with somebody who treats the idea treats the idea of a chore. If she wants my attention badly, she's gonna to have to start being up more upfront. It should be a good lesson. If Marina punishes if Marina's punishment punishment earlier wasn't. Now, smile. Do you want me to give you a lesson? Aye aye, Captain. I have never swum before. So I'm eager to learn. I'm gonna do my best. Alright then, cool. Half an hour later. I'm going to end this here as a cliffhanger. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It has been Zed, guys. Later. My, oh, oh, yeah,